welcome to my God of War Ragnarok walkthrough for all of the main quests in the game. This walkthrough will offer tips for defeating challenging enemies and bosses, solutions to every puzzle and locations of all collectibles. I aim to cover most of the loot too. This video is part 3 as I take you through the old friends quest. More quests will be linked down below in the video description and the pinned comments. You can start the old friend's quest line straight after the quest for Tio in your back at Sindri's house. Just follow the quest marker, interact with it for a private conversation with Murmur. No, no. After the cutscene, you'll take control of Atreus and you just want to make your way to the Mystic Gateway. The old friend's quest will start and you'll use the Mystic Gateway to get to Midgard. After the Mystic Gateway, you just want to follow the path, follow Sindri, and you'll come up to this ledge here. You need to go left after the ledge, but just look right for some hack silver. From this hack silver, just proceed to follow Sindri down this ledge, and straight in front of you will be a chest with some more hack silver. A chest? Not so easy, huh? Shut up! You'll then need to open this big golden gate. Just use your sonic arrows by pressing L2 and R2. So, what's been going on? And then you can proceed. Follow Sindri to this location here. Once here, there's going to be a ledge on the right hand side to climb up. Climb up this for a red coffin. You will need to explode an exploding vase. Just head to the left here, you'll be able to spot it. And once you've got the red coffin, you can continue. As you jump over this ledge, you're going to notice the hanging basket right in front of you. Just use your arrow to make that drop. That should contain some hack silver. And then just from this, a little bit ahead of you, you're going to notice this barrel on the left hand side. Use your sonic arrow. And you'll get some loot out of that. Now just continue down the path to find some more hack silver. And just above the ledge we jump down there's going to be another basket which we can destroy for some more loot. Now from here there's a bit of a puzzle to complete before we can proceed because our path is blocked. Just lock up and use your sonic arrows on this piece of wood here. Then with that drop, we want to climb back up this ledge. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. And if we get this angle here, we can use our sonic arrows to open up the block path. Just head back to Sindri and proceed through the now unblocked path. Once you exit, you will have your first enemy encounter. So just deal with these enemies the best that you can. And once the enemies are clear, there's some loot for you to get. You might notice this glowing in these branches here. We're not able to get that yet, so don't worry about it. But there is some hack silver over here near a dead body. And from that hack silver, just where you entered the area, there's this hack silver chest. With the loot collected, you just want to make your way to the lift and interact with it. Cindy will repair it, you'll make it to the top, and then you're going to enter a cutscene as you advance. After the cutscene, you'll need to interact and get through this door. As you squeeze through the door, once it's open, you're going to find some hack silver directly to your left, and a red coffin directly to your right. not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not going to ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. Now just proceed through the cave and there'll be an enemy encounter. You'll notice a gap on the left though as you proceed with some hack silver. Once the enemies are clear, you are going to see this red coffin that you can't get to because of the gold stone. Just lock up and use your arrow to drop this fast. And that will uncover the coffin for you. And then from the coffin, just to the left of it, use your sonic arrow to proceed. Just like squeeze through this gap and it's going to be a shortcut scene before you can proceed further into the quest. Oh dear. So, 
Sindri has got a set up shop after that cutscene and directly across from him you can climb this wall to continue. At the top of the wall there's another wall to climb. And at the other side there will be an enemy encounter. To kill him quickly, just shoot the explosive vase. I'm killing that enemy, just look right and there's going to be some hack silver inside of this barrel here. Just use your sonic arrow to get it open. And then you can continue by shimmying along this wall. And once on the other side, just squeeze through this gap. As soon as you get out from the gap, there's two barrels to the left of you. Just use your sonic arrows to open them for some hack silver. Now just follow the path. You're going to go down some stairs to the left and there will be an enemy encounter. After the enemies are taken care of, just from the bottom of the stairs where you saw the first one, notice this hanging basket. And just right of where that loot dropped from the hanging basket is some more loot. Continue down the path from here and you just need to use your sonic arrows on this here. And with that broke, before jumping across, just angle yourself so that you can shoot this red vase. That's going to explode the gold stones here, which gives you a better angle here so you can use your sonic arrow to basically unblock the path. After unblock though, shoot this red vase while you are here and then also take out the enemies. With the enemy taken out, before you go through and progress, just go over to the left here where you just shot that red vase. You're going to be able to get a red coffin. You've now collected all the loot here, so go through the gap that you made and continue the path. You'll come up to this area where there is another enemy encounter. During this encounter, just use your sonic arrow just to make that enemy easy. And with all the enemies clear, don't forget the hack silver chest to the left. From the hack silver chest, you just want to run over to this wall here and start climbing to follow the path. At the top of this wall, you are going to find a barrel to the right for some more hack silver. Just use your sonic arrow. And then from this hack silver, just turn around and you'll notice the hanging basket in the distance. Just shoot that down and go and collect some more loot. There'll be a dark passage just to your right here that you can go through for a red coffin. Now from this red coffin, just go back to where you climbed up the wall. There's going to be another dark passage where that deer just went. Follow this round. There will be some enemies to defeat. Just make sure you defeat them and continue on the path. At the end of the tunnel, you will find some more hack silver on the dead deer that you just saw with another enemy encounter. Just defeat the enemies. With the enemies defeated, before you move on, just drop down the ledge to the left for a hack silver chest. Then move forward on the path. Once you climb this ledge, there'll be some more hack silver. And you'll get an enemy encounter before you enter this dark doorway. Just deal with these enemies. And then through the doorway, you'll find some hack silver on the left. Just continue through this cave, and at the end, there's an opening with another enemy fight. This fight could be a little bit more difficult. There's enemies with shields. Just make sure you're using your arrow and your sonic arrows to uh, kind of stun them. And get some easy attacks in onto stun and use R3. Bring enemies back to this doorway if you need to. There will be enemies on the ledges across from you as you do in this fight. So this is just a good little bit of cover if you do bait enemies back here. Once those enemies are dead, you can then use your arrows across the way to defeat these. Just notice the hanging vase there. That'll make one of them easy. And once these are dead, just finish off any remaining enemies. An enemy will break through this wall here just to uncover the rest of the path. 
Now with all the enemies clear, just heading back to where we entered the area, there's some loot to get. As you come through the exit, there's this basket to the right of you. And while you're in battle, you may have noticed the hack silver chest just at the end here. Now from this hack silver chest, you will notice the red coffin there. To get this, just head inside through the doorway and head right. You'll have some uh, other loot to pick up as well, but you've got the red vase here to destroy that gold stone. Before heading back out to the red coffin, notice these barrels. Use your sonic arrows to uncover some hack silver. And then head back out to get the red coffin. With all that collected, head back inside through this uh, gateway and then head left this time. There will be another enemy encounter. Use this vase to your advantage. And then continue forward for another enemy encounter with another red vase that you can use to your advantage. With the enemies defeated, you can now proceed, pick up any loot that the enemies may have dropped. As you enter around here, there will be another barrel that you can shoot with a sonic arrow for some more uh, hack silver. And then just continue on. At the end of this path, there will be a red barrel for you to collect. And with the coffin done, just jump down the ledge and there'll be an interaction with Sindri. You'll be given an option to throw a snowball at Sindri. Uh, there's no known consequences of doing this or not doing this, so do what you choose. Hey. And just to the right of this interaction, you will find some more hack silver. Now from here, you can continue your quest. Just head left, climb up the ledge, and squeeze through this passage. Once through the passage, just push forward for a lengthy cutscene. After the cutscene, you'll need to climb this chain and there's a legendary chest to the left as you get up. From here, just continue on, climb the ledge and shimmy the next ledge and just continue the path. Once at the bottom, you have to come through the cave. There's some hack silver on the ground to the right. Once you've got that hack silver, just use your sonic arrow to uncover the path. And you're going to head to another cutscene now with Sindri before another enemy encounter. During this enemy encounter, Sindri can help you now though. So make sure you tap in square for him to help and make this battle easier. And with the encounter finished, you just need to head through this gap in the wall. Straight ahead of you through the gap will be some hack silver on the ground. And from the hack silver, you'll just continue the path. You'll drop down into this area to another enemy encounter. After the encounter is finished, just make your way through this gap. And you have already looted this area now. So just keep on the path and go and finish the quest. There'll be another enemy encounter on the way back to the lift, so just deal with this. And with the encounter finished, Sindri can fix the lift so you can get back up to the top. There's no loot at the top of the lift, so you're now ready to finish this quest. Just interact with the gateway to head back to Sindri's house. Once back at Sindri's house, you just need to enter to end this quest. There'll be a cutscene for you before the next quest starts. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. If it has helped you, please remember to hit like and share to support. Subscribe for more videos from me. And if you want more walkthroughs on these quests, they are linked down in the video description in the playlist and the pinned comments. Thank you so much for watching this today. Until next time, stay safe and peace out.